So welcome back to Cashin TV. I'm Cashin, of course. I got my glasses on for this video. I need to wipe them off, actually, because I'm looking a little rough. But today's video is going to be... I just heard a noise. Ain't nobody in here but me, so... So today's video is going to be one of my first types of this video. It's going to be a sneaker review. I, um, I'm a Pierre Moss boss. That's what I like to call it. Um, so these are the two that I already bought. I'm going to do an unboxing of a pair that I just bought. Okay, so, yeah. I've been saying I wanted to make more fashion-based content. And now I'm going to make more fashion-based content because I said so. This is a fashion entrepreneur lifestyle. You see it. I was like, what's the next word? YouTube. So basically, Pierre Moss is a black designer luxury brand by Kirby Jean Raymond. And I have been keeping up with Pierre Moss for about maybe two years now. I watch the fashion shows and stuff on YouTube. I'm about to go um, do some real research. Because all I do is watch interviews with him. And I just, I just love him. Pierre Moss was founded in 2013 as a men and women's fashion label concerned with building a narrative that speaks about heritage and activism right so i watched the interview and um the owner of pierre moss is um kirby jean raymond and i really really like him and everything he stands for i love how he has black choirs and his fashion shows and he has clothes sometimes that have messages on them like oh my god i'm gonna tell you my favorite part about the shoe but it has to do with like messages but anyways so i've like i watch a lot of youtube videos and stuff about him and listening to him speak he was in clubhouse the other night and i was like i was at work when he was in clubhouse too so i'm on clubhouse at work first of all so i can't be that loud but like inside i'm like screaming 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 like oh my god it's kirby because like i love pierre moss like i love the brand i love the vision behind it i love everything he does so like um Listen to him speak for one like that close to me in the same room as me was so crazy for one but that's literally what clubhouse is for but also um i love how authentically him he is and that's something that i'm always attracted to when it comes to like brands and owners and things like that like if you are you and i can see that this is you and your lifestyle through your clothes it makes me love you and want to give my money even more because you're selling a now, I, I want to say that's not really selling a lifestyle, but it's selling a vision. And I buy into visions more than I buy into anything. So with Kirby and then listen to him speak on Clubhouse, somebody asked him, like, how much did you feel like you had to fake yourself to be in this industry? And he was like, I didn't. Like, he was a person that I saw, like, and listened to via these interviews. Like, there was no lane. There was no door for him to open. He had to, like, literally break down walls and create a door. And that's something I highly, highly respect like listening to him in different countries running around with sample makers and leather makers and it's just it's inspiring and i'm fangirling right now but that's how much i like fashion i'm not going off on a tangent right now all right we're gonna talk about these damn shoes so the first pair i'm gonna show you guys and i got these from since um that's a hack okay if you ever trying to get pierre moss sneakers and they go out of stock on the website since has them they always get them right since s s e n s e the app the website they always get pierre moss the woman seven is always in stock and um they ship in two days so if you're a woman i would definitely say get your pierre moss um sneakers off of since because they ship it in two days pierre moss is like a week which isn't bad at all um because i'll you know run you guys through the timeline but also um I got them in the mail today but also since ships in two days and it's the same product so yeah the box let's talk about the box I'm in love with the box I'm gonna hold this I'm gonna sit this one up so y'all can see it let's see if I can do it while I open my hand you can do it cash okay yeah so I love the box um it's just right on this side on this side it says Reebok by Pierre Moss and you know the side right here has my um, sizing. This is um the woman's seven and a half, men's six. I have the Pierre Moss Trial Fear Unisex. So again, love this box because you open, you open it up like this, right? And then the shoes come out like this. So these are the first pair that I bought. I actually bought these like around my maybe this time last year i found them on since one day i was just looking around and i found them on since i know i couldn't get the pink yellow and black pair so i got these 
Um, and I was getting these for a sneaker ball that I was going to at the Fashionpreneur Academy. It ended the it ultimately got canceled because of COVID, but yeah. So I want to show you guys something. So on this sneaker, my favorite part is the scripture he has right there. And I believe this is on both sneakers. But it says, and it's in Kirby's handwriting. And it says, we got to leave this ground you're walking on a little better for the kids with his signature. So I really like that. I also really love shoes that have this little knob. It's such a small detail that I like. But I like being able to pull my shoes up by this. And not have my nails in there. You know, I have nails. So you see how it's names and words in the inside of the shoe? I really think that's a nice touch. Like, I really like that. And the quote um, that he said on that other one is right there as well. Okay, so the inside of the shoe says, um, we made this the night before. Um, it's a lot of stuff at the top, but I can't get the damn thing out. So I can't get it out. It says, we made this the night before Christmas. And... Christmas break and I show this sketch to all my nieces, nephews, and godchildren. They thought it was cool, so I'm dedicating this to them. And he named all their names. And then he said, Thank you for wearing these design with Evan Belforti. So I'm assuming that's the maybe that's the designer with uh, Pierre Moss or um Reebok. So yeah. This is the first pair, and I want to say this may be my least favorite pair that I have, only because um I like the other two better. Like I don't know. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with these at all. Um, these aren't also these aren't as comfortable as the black ones. These are the black uh trial theories. I never say them, I just call them the Pierre's. Like so again, he has the quote, um, you know, we gotta leave this ground. You're walking on a little better for the kids with his um oh with his signature on it. So it matches in the inside again and it's the same one you know dedicating to his nieces nephews and god kids but this um fabric is a little different i'm gonna get up and show you guys so on this one i feel like it's more of a mesh fabric right here and then on this part it's definitely really soft it's like a feels like a sweat pant felt material so yeah but i really like these really really like these I really like the bottom of them too. I didn't show you the bottom of the other ones. The bottom of these are really cool. They say Reebok right there. I never even noticed that. But I um I like the shape of these and how the bottom, like I feel like it kind of grips the ground when you walk. I feel like that's really cool. Okay, we got a box, right? So this is like a first impression because I didn't, um, as you can see, I didn't open this to try this on yet. But yeah, these are the, um, Pierre Mars Trial Fury, Trail Fury, sorry, um, unisex. These are the wrong size. I don't, I can't believe I got the wrong size. I really hope these fit. Let's hope they fit, okay? But I got a women's seven. So, yeah. These are so cute. I, of course, you know, I like them for the color that the sole is. I gotta, I gotta get up and show y'all. This ain't doing this no justice, okay? Oh, wait. There we go. Bow. These babies are shining, okay? Let me see if we got the message in the inside like we usually do. We sure do. So, on this side, the message um this inside has nothing on it i really like these it's the color of the sole for me like i really really like that oh i also like the outer do they all have outer stitching like this this outer stitching is really nice like the red that's super cool okay they even look smaller oh god damn it Kashara. oh and i didn't i like this little part too i don't know if you guys can see that part that part right there nice I don't know who told my camera to stop recording. I hate when it does that. It's been on that all day. Like, just stopping. This one is... This material is, like, sweater material, I think, too. I like the way it feels. So it feels soft. And, yeah, I'm scared, y'all. These look small. I'm pretty fit. I'm pretty fit. Because I'm Okay, 
I'm not sure y'all they feel a little tight, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, they tight, but like my foot is like right at the top, so it's not like a is it an uncomfortable fit? I'm gonna put both on and walk around for a second. But yeah, that's how it looks on my foot, if you want to see. What am I wearing with these? Of course I have no idea. You know why I bought them? Because they pink and because they black on. Period. And that's all I be needing some days. Like, oh, they pink? Oh, they black on? I'm a kid. I'm a kid. Okay. Yeah, they don't feel too bad. I also really like this part right here. It's like a, you can like pull it to adjust it. I really like these actually. They don't fit too bad. I've been walking around on them in between like different stuff for the video. I'm actually about to wear them out now. But yeah, overall, I love I love Pierre Moss. If you guys have not, um, you know, shopped with the brand, go ahead and pick up some things. Uh, these shoes were $250. I feel like if I'm going to buy anything designer sneaker wise, I'm going to buy this. My palms angel bag was two fifty, and this nigga put some shoes on my feet for two fifty. So that's all I'm gonna say about that. Um, but yeah, so uh, if you like this video, let me know if you want more fashion-based unboxings and content, and sneaker reviews. Um, I keep buying stuff, so y'all gonna have hauls to let y'all all through the next quarantine. You feel me? So yeah, I'm Cash. Of course, this has been Cash and TV, and I'll see you guys in the next video.